Hey guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, it is finally here. I've been so excited about this box ever since it was announced. And as you can tell from the thumbnail and title, it is the curation of magical curiosities by none other than Cherry Wallace herself. Cherry helped curate this entire box with the help of Geek Gear. Now I know if you've been following me for a while, I have mentioned her before. Cherry and G from Book Roast are like my favorite YouTubers. They are the two people who really got me inspired to start my own YouTube channel. And the fact that Cherry Wallace was able to make a box, <sighs> I'm so excited because I know how much she loves replicas just like me. So yeah, my expectation is probably way too high. <laughs> Not that I don't think it'll be met. I'm just so excited. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this. If you are interested, keep watching and let's get into it. Sneak peek. Ooh, we have some really cute tissue paper. Oh, it has the magical keys on there with wings, which is one of Cherry's tattoos, um, and a lightning bolt, which I think is another one of her tattoos. Um, so yeah, that is so cute. I actually might try to keep this tissue paper. And right on top, we have this really cute box that says Herbology. That is so cute. Again, Geek Gear, their boxes lately have been on point. Oh, it's Neville's plant. Um, oh my god, I'm blanking. Mimbalus, Mim, Mimbalus, Mimblato? Mimbalus. My Harry Potter knowledge is failing me. But yes, this is so freaking cute. It is a replica of his plant. And it's just adorable. I love the little planter that it's in. This is a perfect addition to my bookshelf. That is so freaking cute. Ah, okay, great start to the box. And next we have another box that says Memory Vial. And it says this exquisitively crafted vial bottle will hold your closest memories for many years to come. Oh, so this is like for your pensive. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. So it really is like a potion bottle that you can put your memories in. Oh, that is gorgeous. And we have a paper. I'm assuming these are different labels that you can use and put on your bottle. So if you want to change your memories up or something, that is so freaking cute. And this actually really looks like the vials that Dumbledore had in his office around his pensive. And I like that it's actually glass. Like this isn't plastic, it's good quality, you can tell. I love this, wow. What memory would I put in here? Oh, that's hard. You guys, let me know in the comments down below what memory you would want to make sure you reserved forever. Um, I would say the birth of my kids, but that memory is not going anywhere even though I was drugged. <laughs> I had to have two C-sections, so that's planted firmly in my mind. Um, Oh, I don't know. That's hard. Oh, and of course, we had to have some tea, which is very geek gear. Um, and it's time-turning tea, which is actually very cherry. <laughs> she always wears her time-turner in all of her videos, and it even has the time-turner down there. Um, as you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, I'm not a big tea drinker. Um, so I will probably give this away. Um, so I'm not going to open it or anything. But yeah, I know Cherry is a big fan of tea, so I'm not surprised she put some tea in the box. And next we have, ooh, it's an enamel pen. Hold on. It's like pumpkin juice bottles, and it says the Yule Ball. That is gorgeous. I love the different colors and like the snowflake. That is so freaking cute. And the little pumpkins on there, I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, it's clear. Oh my gosh, so like the whole bottle thing, like you can actually see through it. So it's like an actual bottle, that is cool. I love enamel pens, just like Cherry. I'm so glad that she added one in her box. And next we have a very cute package. I think all of us know what this is and I love that it actually looks like when Hagrid picked it up from Gringotts. That is adorable. I almost don't want to open the packaging, but 
we have to. <laughs> it is a replica of the Sorcerer's Stone that is gorgeous. And I love that one side is flat so we can actually display it on our bookshelf. I have wanted a replica of the Sorcerer's Stone forever. And now I finally have one that is, ah, uh, that is amazing. I, oh, I love it so much. Whew, okay. And next we have a brown envelope, ooh, with a sticker. It almost looks like the Deathly Hollow mark. Let us see. It's like a replica of the potion book for Drought of Living Death. So it's like the ingredients and directions from the actual potion book. So I'm assuming this is the Half-Blood Prince copy because it has a lot of markings and like different writings on the side. That is so cool. The only thing that I will say about this is it feels and looks like it was photocopied. It doesn't quite look like a replica, but I still love it. Last but not least, we have an art print and it is a Mandrake or Mantagora and it's by Cherry. It has her signature on there. I didn't know she could draw. That is freaking gorgeous and ugly at the same time because that's an ugly little thing, <laughs> but I love it. That is freaking awesome. I have an art print by Cherry Wallace, just saying. And that was it guys. That was everything from Cherry Wallace's box. Um, let's take a quick look at the spoiler card. I'm not gonna read all of this, but we had the For Lost of Her Stone from year one. Oh, so she did seven items um, based off these seven books. So year one was the Philosopher's Stone, year two, the Mandrake artwork, year three, the Time Turning Tea, year four, the Yule Ball Pen, year five, Mimbalus Mimbalatonia, Mimbalus, it was Mimbalus. <laughs> year six, the Drought of Living Death Potion Recipe, and year seven, Memory Vial. I'm pretty sure she handwrote all of this. That is awesome. <sighs> wow. Okay. So guys, as always, you'll have to let me know what you think. What was your favorite item? Least favorite? My favorite item um, would have to be the Sorcerer's Stone because I have just wanted one forever. But I really love the plant as well. The Mimbalist plant. So yeah, these were definitely my favorite items. But I also love the memory vial and the art print and the um, enamel pen. Least favorite, of course, if you know me, it was the tea. Just because I don't like tea. Overall, I really liked this box. I am not disappointed at all. It does still feel like a geek gear box with the number of items and the type of items. It definitely does still feel like geek gear. Not saying that's a bad thing because you guys know how much I love geek gear. Um, but I definitely feel cherry as well. And I love that she took the time to make it more personalized from her, like by writing the entire item list by herself and doing an entire artwork by her. I mean, that just made this box feel so much more special. So yeah, I'm very excited. If Cherry continues to put boxes out, I will continue to buy them. <laughs> but as always, you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next next time. Bye guys. And they were just, it just, <laughs> within love, love, love. Okay, that's enough energy drink for me. Print label. Oh, my foot's falling asleep. Oh, fuck. Hmm. But.